Hi everyone, I thought I'd showcase my account here at Trailblaze level 30. I'm not saying this is the best way to do it, uh, but from my experience with Genshin Impact, this is how I built my account. Also watching some other streamers, this seems to be on the, on the path for what you want to be doing. So if you enjoyed this video and you find it helpful, please leave a like. Uh, what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to show what I've done just before to get to this point, because this game does kind of power creep. So if you're not careful, you can very easily get uh, your units out matched with your opponents. Like I'm facing now level 44, even though I don't think I can ascend yet. It requires equilibrium level 2. So you've got to kind of rely on actually building some of your characters. Now the typical problem with these games, unless you do want to spend some money uh, refilling some of your essentially resin. I can't remember what it's called in this. I mean, I'm too, too familiar with Genshin, so I just apply Genshin to this. Uh, so I'll be using Genshin terms most likely, but uh, using resin, and resin is basically a time-limited uh, product in these games, but you can buy it, or you can use your crystals to top up. It's not a bad way of using your crystals, but anyway. Uh, so that aside, so obviously you're going to have to do missions. I've been doing, what I've even been doing now, uh, is side missions. I've been doing a lot of these side missions, and now that I've just hit a... Uh, Trailblaze level 30, some more have actually just showed up. Uh, so you could say maybe I'm a little bit for higher level than maybe what I should have been in the story. I've been doing a lot of the side quests. That's what I typically do. I'll typically do the side quests, the dungeons, the domains we've been getting. Um, and then try and focus on those just to get the small amount of product, like, uh, I guess, like, uh, materials they offer. So, uh, but I've got Sealy. I'm very fortunate enough to get Sealy. Everyone have a five star. You've got to focus on your five star. And in this game as well, you've obviously got to focus on your main character. I've kept him as destruction. I probably did get a good enough artifact set or relic set that would have sufficed. But I've got quite a nice physical set here. And he, he hits really hard for, for my account. I mean, he's got still like 800 attack. He could probably do a bit more. But he's got nearly 20% crit rate. 60% crit damage at the minute. Uh, so the characters I've chosen and who I've got. Uh, we've got Su Shang. We've got Sampo. We've got Hook. Uh, did have Dan Heng here at level 20 out of 30, and his light cone is at level 3 with 20 out of 30. Uh, we've got a nice light cone for her to birth. I think this is obviously her kit, which is why I think it's birth of self, because it's basically it's, it's identical to her kit. So it lets her twirl more, I think, basically. And her twirls do more damage. But uh, I will probably still build her. I will probably still build her down the line. But at the minute, I'm not going to build it. I'm just leaving because I've got a few of these new additions. I've got uh, Himiko uh, and I'm quite liking Jinkui, I believe is her name. I butchered that. Uh, Serval it's a personal thing but I used to play in a lot of bands growing up and there's something about certain guitar that I just can't stand and even though I think her character is great, the guitar kind of annoys me. Um, so she's a great character, looks great, does great damage I probably won't build it though, for that reason. The guitar kind of, I find it, it just, I just find it personally a little bit annoying, but that, that's just me. And my account with Sealy doesn't seem to be really missing out on that. Aster, on the other hand, uh, I, which I thought was the case, is actually voice acted by Mona uh, from Genshin, same voice actor, so you can kind of hear that. Uh, but that's like, she's a really good unit. People are kind of finally cottoned on. She's a great support later on in the game. So I'm going to be focused on Asta, March 7th, uh, my main character. And we've got Himiko, who I've seen some people be quite controversial about Himiko in the later game. But yeah, whatever. She's a five-star liker. So. Uh, and yeah, Jin Queen, Natasha. I've been very fortunate with the, a lot of my free pulls and the, the jade I've been getting. I've just been doing like single pulls. I've managed to somehow get Natasha with, with E5. Uh, E6 would be awesome, really, because then that would be this. Uh, to converts her physical damage based off of her HP. So she scales on HP, and I've built her as HP, but I'll get onto that in a moment. Pella, really been enjoying Pella. I've got her E1. I don't think Aster got E1 as well. And I think that's about it. Obviously, Traveler, I've just got his E6 for physical. Uh, everyone else is normal. Everyone else is just one copy. So, uh, and my Sealy, uh, again. So I guess I should have a light cone. This is a bit all over the place. But we've got a four star light cone. River flows in the spring. I've actually got another version of that. I don't know 
uh, it, I'll probably most likely change this out down the line, and I might give this to Dan Hang or someone, but at the minute, this seems to be pretty good. I haven't superimposed it, which is like refining it. I haven't done that yet. I might well do that, but because I'm keeping that as a spare, and got this out of 40. All of these up to Asta. Uh, Asta's got a free size actually 30 out of 40. I thought it was 40. But all of these have got 40 out of 40. So Pella's got uh, Eyes of the Prey. That's one of my first cards I got. And it's the only one I've got for Nihility that's four. So that's doing quite good. Post-op conversation. Got this again for Natasha. Natasha's probably one of my best built characters on the account. Uh, really good character. And obviously one of the few healers in the game at the minute. The seriousness of breakfast, the only sort of real spare Euro edition card I've got increases the wearer's damage by 12% uh, and increases the wearer's attack by 4% um, after defeating an enemy. So it, she scales on attack, Jing Kui. I want to call him Jing Show. That's funny. Uh, so overall, you'll see how I built. So I've built her on attack. Uh, Himiko, Genius's Repose. This seems pretty good. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what that's, if that's a really good one for her, but it seems to be working for me so far. The reason I've kept my Traveller with Destruction is because of this card. This card seems to be quite nice under the blue sky. Quite having fun with that. I feel like this is March's card because it, it basically buffs her kit. It increases the wearer's defense by 16%, uh, and her shield scales on her defense so that she gives other people. So. Uh, again, that's that seems to be working quite well for her. Aster, I've not used so much. I would I would like a nice harmony card for her, but we'll have to see what we get in the RNG. Some of these others have got some alright cards we haven't built. So like Serval, I've kind of left half built, and she's got her own what I feel is her own card there. Make of the world clamor, and obviously I've showed her to. He's got a free start. She's got the mole's welcome. So you could say that's I recently got that actually. That's hooks. I've heard that hooks meant to be really good. Uh, oh God, I've got another four star the hit it's, I didn't realize for Manta that's probably pretty good increases the break of her dealt by the wearer by 16% increases their damage to enemies afflicted by shock or wind ah yeah that's it had that because it's going to be suitable for for him no doubt but I'm not too sure about Sampo I might well still build Sampo obviously I haven't really seen anything of this kit I haven't even tried him yet so just I'm trying to limit my resources to just basically these eight at the minute hoping to get Bronya or something but we'll have to see obviously the trace is do these levels do these levels to maximum you can get to like level three here of the materials need the they need the next extension but do all these you can with the boss materials and things you do you need to do all your your traces it's a given these are like your talents it's free free damage and then on the relics this is probably a bit more where it gets a bit controversial with with what you choose and what you've got to be honest there's obviously going to be better sets down the line uh, but gone with a full musketeer set for my Sealy with attack and oh beg my pardon sorry it's, I'm not used to this. Uh, with attack and crit rate uh, the substats are going to be so so on this I've just got to take what I can get at this particular level just got to use what you can uh, but ideally you want to be looking at like attack and crit on these these boots and armor so again attack crit for Pele uh, for my Natasha build, we've got this Passive Wandering Cloud with a HP set and then Outgoing Healing Boost. That seems to be working really good. Uh, for Jin Kui, I've got a mix set of the both. That again seems to be working quite good. Uh, what have we got here? Attack and Attack, I think. Yeah, two double attack. I feel like because there's kit scales of attack. Even though you could say you'd still want probably crit rate with it. Nah, whatever. I've just done that. She seems to be doing all right so far. Uh, my Himiko. I just got these two, I think. And I binned the other two sets. So I got it because they're both defense. Now, you could say that was probably for Traveler. Uh, I'm not too sure how his secondary like pyro version scales. I'm not too interested. I've heard it's meant to be really, really good. So that set was probably for him. But I've kind of put half of it on Himiko. I don't know if that's ideal. I haven't actually really tried Himiko since I've done that. Uh, I did have her on a full Musketeer set, which I think I've now put onto someone else now. Um, yeah, we'll have to. I'll have to see. The, the it basically increases fire damage by ten percent. Yeah, we'll have to see. I think she does enough pyro that is, but I don't know if that's how her kit works. I'm not too sure. Seems so. This full physical kit. I think you can buy this from one of the shops, probably on the one on the on the ship. 
Uh, I don't know if these last two are RNG. I shall, I'll go back to him and for a sec. Uh, I've got speed and crit rate on him. I don't know if those two pieces are RNG, but obviously I've got that, which is pretty nice. Uh, my Himiko has got attack and crit rate. Again, the substats are pretty so-so. I just changed her. I just changed her to one of these pieces. It's pretty terrible. Yes, yeah, so it's her gloves. Her gloves were good, and then now, now they've got defense for It's pretty terrible substats on that pair, whatever. Uh, my March. Again, I think you get given this set, this Hunter of Glacial Forest. I did have another set you get given, this one, this Knight of Purity Palace. Again, it increases defense, and I think that's good as well. That's like a really good set, but this just seemed better. Increases ice damage. Uh, I just assume I hadn't really got anyone to put this on. Maybe Pella, I don't know. Um, yeah, you, you could say maybe it was a better better set for Pella, maybe. And I should have kept March on this set. Uh, but I didn't do that. Uh, my Pella's already got an attack set. But uh, I think I got rid of all that other set, to be honest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got rid of all that other set, I think. It's not there anymore. Uh, but what we got on March, we've got defense and defense. And that's largely why, because it's it's got a two defense piece. So I was like, ah, sort of, we'll give it to March. So it will still help our kit while also maybe helping our attack. Yet to try it, but it works okay. You can see some of these aren't so leveled. I'm still working on March and Asta, so they're the least built of this crew. Uh, and then I guess last but not least, my Asta again, like my Pella, has got a full thieving, thief of shooting mentor uh, with... Uh, speed and attack piece on her these will get better as they get swapped around uh they will get better on our move and down through throughout them but uh and as to the team comps i'm using uh what i was initially using to carry me through some of the harder content until i got them all up to level 40 until i got the level light cones up to level 40 uh i was using this team this team has basically carried a lot of my game for the sort of the content in between that um and obviously this is very premium um i'm sure you can fit aster in there uh, take out pella put aster in uh you can mix it up obviously put traveler in some cases i did put traveler in um and some even some cases i put march and say traveler in um, depending on what I needed. Um, if you needed another shield to keep the basic survivability more important than DPS, then, then that was working okay. Um, but the team I'm really having a lot of fun with now is the one I just showed. Uh, hello, uh, Jane Green. This team's been having a lot of fun, and it's enabled me to create a second team, which is this team. And again, this team's really good, and it has cleared some domains for me. Um, again, you can see like my Aster needs a better better light cone but other than that so far so good i'm not saying this is what's good what you need to do but it's what's working for me uh of what i've enjoyed most out of the game so far um there's other obviously combinations you can do uh what was something else i used just while i think of it um I think it was Herter in like this sort of group actually take out Traveler and someone like Herter would suit really well with like this group like having again having like the sort of the ship crew. Um but this was gonna be in my original team, but then I decided to focus on, on Traveler. So uh is each other and obviously he's destruction, he hits pretty hard with the set I showed. So anyway, if this if this video helped you, please leave a like and thank you very much for watching.